Hello and welcome to Sprout Cam Tutorials brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to import some solid models to use as fixturing uh, for your projects. Uh, you can see that I have um, imported this solid model. This is what I'm going to be machining. And now I want to set it up um, with some fixtures. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're in the model tab. We're going to highlight fixtures. We're going to go to file and import. And I'm going to import this IGES file called T-slot clamp. Click OK. I can see uh, this clamp has been imported. Now I want to move it and put it in the place where I want to um, use the clamp. So I am going to click on the fixtures again and click on T-slot clamp. That way I'm only going to move the T-slot clamp. And then we're going to click on transform. And I'm going to move this negative 4.2 inches in the x-axis. Apply that. And now I'm going to move it negative 0.75 inches in the z-axis. Alright, so we'll click OK. Now you can see it's clamped right down there just like if you were going to be doing this on your machine but we're not done yet because one clamps not going to cut it if you wanted to clamp it, we could clamp it in two three well we're going to do it in four places so I'm going to click on T-slot clamp again and click on transform and we're going to rotate it and we're going to make copies of it three copies. We're going to rotate it around the z-axis 90 degrees. Click apply. Alright, now we have four clamps that are holding our part down to our invisible table. Okay. Now what we're going to do is just mill around this outside flower looking profile. Okay. So we're going to go to Machine tab, and you can see that SprueCam only generates the workpiece around the actual part. It doesn't do it like around this entire thing. It only does the part, and that doesn't really work out for us. So what we're going to do is click Primitive, and we're going to put a cylinder around the z-axis. Click Add. Okay, now on this cylinder, we're going to double click, and in this item properties box, we're going to take the positive axial and minus it 0.75 inches. Now, it just has that lip, and that's already done. So we're going to add one more workpiece, another primitive, another cylinder around the z-axis. Now this one, we're going to double click on, and in the items property box, we're going to take the outer radial down, we're going to make it negative 0.4 inches. Now you look at it from the top, the only part that's got um, a machinable workpiece area around it is that flower area. 
Okay. So now we're going to click on Create. And we're going to create a finishing 2D contouring. And we have this clamped down, but I still want to go around the outside of this. So we're going to click on Job Assignment. Make sure that the Edge Selection tool is on. Hold down the Control button on our keyboards. And go all the way around the perimeter of that flower like thing and highlight all the edges now we've got them all highlighted we will click curve and you can see that curve is generated so now I'm going to double click 2D contouring we're going to pick our tool and for the tool that I'm going to use is this um, 665 inserted center cutting end mill for speeds and feeds oh normally I don't play with these but I don't know 10,000 will be fine lead in lead out we'll use a safe level of 0 0.05 Parameters, safe plane is fine, top level is fine, bottom level is going to be negative, 0.75. We're going to take this in six passes, and we can do it with helical machining. We'll click run. All right, so the path has moved out, and you can see now that Sprucam has automatically figured out how close those that um, cutter can get, and only generates the path in between the clamps. So now we will hit Simulate, and we will regenerate it, and we'll hit Play. Cutter moves up and over the clamp, up and over the clamp, up and over the clamp, and we'll speed it up a little bit. You can see it never hits the clamps. This is a really good way of making it so if you have a, a, a piece that you're trying to machine in an area that you don't want the cutter to go to, you can make a fixture and it can be as easy as making a fixture even with your um, in your model tab. You can click on fixtures. You can turn a fixture, which is uh, you could pick a piece of geometry and rotate it. You can extrude a fixture. If I make a, a model with the 2D modeling function real quick from the top for the 2D geometry, we can just put a circle right here. right up on that z-axis level now we can go on to the machining tab and we got fixtures I can extrude that and we don't want it to extrude that way we're gonna turn it around with the item properties we we'll make max zero we we'll make minimum 0.75 click OK oops we need negative 0.75 Click OK. Now, if we run it again, it still it doesn't touch that area because it can't fit the cutter in here, so it's not even going to bother. So it's it's very easy to make something that you can turn into a fixture and then keep it from machining it in Sprucam. 
So this has been um, tutorial 19, how to use uh, fixturing, and I hope you enjoyed it.